Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this one, I'll show you how to create a flickering light effect in Unreal Engine. We'll start with a simple example first, and then move on to random flickers. Lights that blink at completely random time intervals. I'll only be showing and explaining the key nodes here. If you have any issues, you can find the project zip file in the description, and don't forget to check the pinned comment for any future updates. Hope this video helps you out. First, let me show you how to do this. I'll add a spotlight as an example. Then, I go to the Details panel and scroll down to find the Light Function Material option. We need to create a material for this part. So, I create a new material. I set the Material Domain to Light Function. Now, only the Emissive Color option remains. Next, I need to set up a system that switches between 0, which is off, and 1, which is on. This way, our light starts to flicker. Okay, let's start with our first simple material. I've organized the files so you can easily find them. The first material also has a light function domain. For the nodes, I used a time node and multiplied it by a parameter so I can control the speed. Then, I used a sign node to get a set of sinusoidal numbers. I also used the frac node to keep only the decimal part so the output doesn't include whole numbers. Finally, I added a clamp node to set the minimum and maximum values so the numbers are limited within a specific range for our effect. I created a material instance for this so these three variables can be adjusted. This material loops continuously and is very easy to use. It's one of the best options for many situations. Also, I placed a black debug plane above each material to show the numerical output. In the files, these are separate materials. I did this so you can easily see what's happening in the background. All right, for the next material, I'm jumping straight into material D1. Let's open up the master material. Just like before, I'm using a time node and multiplying it by a parameter to control the speed. Now, we'll be using four main nodes to generate a kind of random float number, giving us random values between 0 and 1. First, we have the Material X Append 3 node, where input B works as our seed in this random system, and input C stays at 0. Then we use Vector Noise, which, as the name suggests, adds procedural noise variation. After that, we plug in a component mask so that only the red channel is used for output. Next, we add a Material X Range node to define our minimum and maximum random range. Then comes the Sine node, which gives us smooth, wave-like values over time. After that, the frac node, which keeps only the decimal part of the numbers. We also add a clamp to limit the output range so it never goes beyond what we want. And finally, the smooth step node. It helps transition between values more softly. Now, it might not perfectly smooth everything out, but it works well enough to create the flicker effect I wanted. And that's it for this material. I didn't include the rest because they're basically repetitive, and I don't want this video to get boring or too long. For every material, I've added comments and short descriptions explaining what each node does, so you can follow easily. Each material file is also separate, so you can find them quickly. And if you still don't understand how some parts work, just ask me in the comments. I'll upload this project as a zip file on Google Drive and Mega, and I'll include the download links in the description. If you have any issues with the files, just let me know. And if this video helped you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching until the end.